bone formation takes place by two basic methods, namely endochondral ossification and intramembranous ossification. Endochondral, cartilaginous, or indirect bone formation involves production of bone in areas where there are high levels of compression. Thus, it is seen in the cranial base and in movable joints. During endochondral bone formation, first step is the differentiation of mesenchymal cells into chondrocytes. These chondrocytes form a rough model, which is enclosed by parachondral cells. Cartilage mass grows both by interstitial growth and by apposition. Cartilage cells hypertrophy and their matrix begins to get calcified. During this time, blood vessels penetrate the cartilage mass from the perichondrium. These penetrating blood vessels carry undifferentiated mesenchymal cells along with them, which gets converted into osteoblasts. Osteoblasts subsequently deposit bone, and bone spicules are formed. Gradually the cartilage mass is replaced by bone. Endochondral bone is not formed directly from cartilage, osteoblasts invade cartilage and replace it. Cartilage behaves like a soft tissue, and growth takes place both by interstitial growth and appositional growth. In bone, interstitial growth is not possible. Cartilage unlike bone, is a pressure-adapted tissue, and can grow in heavy pressure areas. Direction of growth, is not unidirectional like bone. Linear growth takes place allowing lengthening of bone. The entire process of endochondral ossification is continuous and repetitive, one zone transferring into the next. Membranous, intramembranous, or direct bone formation occurs on the outer surface of bone, which is the periosteum, inner surface, which is the endosteum, sutures, etc. Undifferentiated mesenchymal cells in the mesenchymal tissue differentiate into osteoblasts. Osteoblasts secrete osteoid, the fibrous bone matrix. The original blood vessels are retained in close proximity to the formative bony trabeculae. As bone deposition continues, some of the osteoblasts get enclosed by their own deposits and become osteocytes. Intramembranous ossification is the major mode of growth in the skull. Intramembranous ossification, or growth, is seen in areas of tension. Growth takes place outward, or externally, 